What if a single model could plan multi-tool workflows, fix code with tests, and ship working apps at about 8% of the price of Claude? Meet Minimax M2. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another AI video. Today, we're diving into Minimax M2, a next-gen model built for agentic workflows, coding, deep research, and tool use. M2 is smaller, faster, and cost-efficient with a 200K context window and high agentic capability that lets you plan execute, recover, and finish complex tasks end-to-end. -end. Let's talk performance. Here's why M2 stands out among the world's top models. M2 sits near the top of independent leaderboards and even beats models like Gemini 2.5 and Claude 4.1 in several coding and tool use tests. Agentic power. On tests like Tau Square Bench and Browse Comp, M2 shows strong planning, tool calling, and the ability to recover when something breaks, which is exactly what you need for multi-step workflows. Great at coding. M2 has handles multi-file edits and fixes code by actually running tests, scoring high on real-world coding benchmarks. Deep search ability. M2 consistently ranks through the top for research-heavy tasks, pulling in, filtering, and summarizing huge amounts of information. Fast and cost-efficient. High speed, high output, and about 8% of Claude's cost. The bottom line is that M2 gives you top-tier performance in coding, deep research, and agentic workflows without the heavy price tag. To get started, let's head on over to agent.minimax.io to try Minimax Agent. Now you're going to see two models. First, we've got Pro Mode, which is for complex, long horizon tasks. We are talking full stack dev and deep research. And then we have Lightning Mode, which is for fast Q&A, lightweight search, and simple coding. I'm going to be working in Pro Mode for the demos so we can see the planning, tool use, and multi-step execution. All right, the first demo is gonna focus on deep research to a structured report. I'm gonna prompt a complex research task to highlight M2's planning, browsing, ranking, and citation structuring power. All right, so here's the prompt I have in mind. Research the origins of famous Halloween monsters, Dracula, Frankenstein, werewolf, etc., and summarize their historical cultural roots, cross-reference literature, film, and folklore sources. Then produce a structured report with citations, a timeline, and an evolution chart. Let's go ahead and hit run. So you're gonna see how M2 plans their research, opens multiple credible sources, and cross-checks folklore, literature, and film. All right, so in no time at all, the agent lets me know it's gonna help me research the origins of famous Halloween monsters and create a comprehensive structured report. This is a complex research task that requires multiple phases of investigation and synthesis. And it's gonna create a detailed plan for this research project. So here is the research plan, origins of Halloween monsters, and we have a bunch of different steps. Step one is the historical and cultural origins research. Step two is evolution and cross-cultural analysis. Step three is comprehensive report creation. And then we have our deliverables, which includes an academic style report, visual timeline, cultural influence chart, and bibliography of all these sources. And I just said that everything looks good right here. And I'm just going to scroll all the way through here. And we're going to see all the different sources that went into this research task. And I'm going to fast forward all the way to the bottom because the research is complete. We can see all these steps have been completed. Then we have our key findings. And then we have our deliverables that have been created. So we've got our main report and the visual elements as well. Let's have a look at the PDF version of our main report. So it just goes ahead and opens up in the right hand side. Of course, I can download it to my computer and we can see an 18 page report on the origins and evolution of Halloween monsters, a cultural and historical analysis, which kicks off with an executive summary. And we can see everything is all in here. This is super detailed. I'm just gonna come back and close this for now. And I'm gonna open up the flow chart. So let's go ahead and have a look at the flow chart. For this one, I'm gonna download it to my computer and let's have a look. So we have the Halloween monster evolution from folklore to modern icon. And we can see the relation of how everything intersects with each other. And we can also see the research quality at the bottom, which includes 50 plus academic sources, a multidisciplinary approach, cross-cultural perspective, an evidence-based analysis, and academic formatting as well. So it is all in here. All right, for the next demo, we're going to showcase M2's agentic reasoning, debugging, and code improvement workflow. So we're going to see how M2 performs when it's actually writing and debugging real code. So you can ask M2 to write tests, run them, fix the code, and rerun until we're all good to go. For example, I'm going to go ahead and punch in this request, simulate a multiplayer rock, paper, scissors tournament in Python with player classes, random logic, and a score leaderboard. Test coverage for all game rules. 
Let's go ahead and punch this in. All right, so first things first, M2 is gonna go ahead and build the full plan, which includes files, tests, game logic, and the full workflow. Now I'm gonna come on down all the way to the bottom and see what our result looks like. And it has let me know that it has successfully created a comprehensive multiplayer rock, paper, scissors tournament in Python with full test coverage. So here's what it has built. We've got the core system, comprehensive testing, key features, and example tournament results. And we can see all the different files that have been created. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on view all files. All right, so within the Minimax window under files, we've got our demo.py, our project summary, the readme file. It also lets me know that all 32 tests have passed, how to actually go ahead and use it, and that the system is production ready with professional code quality quality, comprehensive testing, and extensibility for new AI strategies or tournament formats. All game rules are fully tested and the performance scales well for large tournaments. All right, for the next one, we're going to go from a dashboard to a full stack automation. So we're going to showcase M2's end-to-end -end web development, data visualization, and deployment capabilities. So I'm going to give M2 a task that combines front-end, back-end, and live data. So here's my request for this one. Build a global coffee data explorer, visualize coffee production, and consumption by country from 2010 onwards with maps, trend lines, and top exporters table. Let's go ahead and punch this one in. All right, so M2 has received the request and it's gonna create a comprehensive plan for our global coffee data explorer. And we have the plan right here. I just said that this all looks good to me. Let's have a look at our result. We can see all the different sources here. This all looks pretty good. All right, so we've got our project summary right here. Let's have a look. Here is our project overview with the deliverables and we even have a URL as well because because I did want a dashboard for this. Let's have a look in a new window. And here we go, we've got our coffee data explorer. So this just reads explore 14 years of global coffee production data from 2010 onwards from 100 plus countries, analyze trends, compare regional performance, and understand the data-driven story of the world's most important agricultural commodity. So this includes a graph on regional production trends, all the main country players with some other data as well. Then we have top coffee producers, Number one is Brazil, then Vietnam, then Colombia. And we have top coffee exporters as well. So our website here includes just about everything we're ever gonna need on this request. I'm gonna come back over to the agent and click on the Coffee Data Explorer right here. Let's have a look. So here is our project completion report, which includes our project overview, our deliverables. So of course we have our live web application right here at this link, the design system, comprehensive data foundation, technical architecture, data insights delivered, the design as well, and all the project structure, success metrics, business value, and project impact. So it is all in here. This just goes to show that M2 turns raw public public data into a polished interactive analytics app end-to-end -end in one run. Now, of course, the link is gonna be in the description below, so you can give this a shot today. You're gonna see links for the Minimax website, Minimax agent, and the API overview if you wanna wire M2 into your own stack. So that is Minimax M2, which is agent and code native intelligence that actually ships results. So be sure to give it a try today, and good luck with your creations.